Annyeong! Welcome to Delightful! Yeah, it looks a little barren in here. I'm preparing to move, so nearly all of my supplies and dolls are packed up. So what do you say we treat ourselves to a simple project with the remaining supplies I still have access to? Remember the haunted line of dolls from Monster High? Very slowly, over the course of like five years already, wow, uh, I've been giving each doll a new face. How about we give Twyla a makeover next? Twyla is one of my favorite characters in Dolls from Monster High. She's just so chill. And of course I love a pastel palette. Alright, let's dive in. Taking a scrap of fabric with a notch, slip it around the doll's face and safety pin it together in the back. Tug it tight around the hairline. Then temporarily secure the mask in place with sewing pins. Mask off the body as well, and now the doll's ready for her day at the spa. Dab 100% pure acetone on a tissue, press and hold it over the face for a couple seconds to let it seep in, then wipe away the factory paint. Get into crevices and curved areas with a Q-tip. Saturate the area with acetone and use scooping motions to whisk away remaining paint. I didn't quite get it all out of the lips, but that's fine. Wash the face with warm soapy water to remove the remaining acetone and any dirt or oils that might have transferred over from your hands. Starting with as clean a slate as possible will help with the longevity of the face up. Time for Mr. Super Clear! Wear a filtration mask for safety and take the doll outside to spray. I like to give the face two coats of sealant, waiting a couple minutes in between applications. Let's begin! I liked the original face, so I think I'll repaint it in a similar color palette. Twyla is a great doll to work with for a couple reasons. One, purple skin always looks cool. Two, they gave her very defined features, so her face mold is easy to trace and follow. I start with an indigo blue pencil, carving out the eyelid creases, defining the lash line, and sketching in the irises. I'm feeling confident, so I go ahead with some shading, and even sketch on the eyebrows. I add a touch of pink to the corners, then remembered I have pastels. Oops, I usually start with those. I lightly brush on a deep purple eyeshadow and remove the extra dust that fell into the eye area with a kneaded eraser. I trace over the lashes once again, add a splash of pink color to the irises, then dust on pink pastels over the lips. I'm getting a lot of mileage out of these first layers of sealant, so why not go ahead and add the lower lash line too? I ended up not keeping the green mask across the eyes design, but I did want something over her eyes. I went with two stripes for no reason in particular. Feels magical. Kind of like the night elves out of Warcraft. Or maybe they have more of a clown makeup sort of vibe? Either interpretation is fine, I guess. I add a touch more blush to the nose and cheeks, and I think that's as far as I can take it on layer one. It's time to spray the doll again with sealant. On this second layer, I add highlights with a white pencil and continue layering up pigments. Wanna know a secret? When I really need to get a video out but I don't have much time or energy, a simple face-up video or sketch with me episode is perfect. It's like feeding y'all snacks in between the main courses that are my larger doll customizing videos. <laughs> but pretend you didn't hear that, that's sort of a peek behind the curtain there. Still, it's nice to slow down and just focus solely on the face up once in a while, isn't it? We can take our time and go into more detail. Next, let's get out the Pearl X powders and add shimmer to the iris color. Using a fine tipped paintbrush, I paint on a watery glue mixture then set the powder down on top. Add some to the lips, why not? So shimmery. It gives the eyes a magical touch. Let's seal her again. For our last pass over the face, I'm busting out the gouache. I use gouache paint to brighten up the whites of her eyes and add a tiny delicate stroke of light pink right around the outside of the pupil. 
This really sharpens the edge and makes the eyes pop. Add a couple of sparkly eye shines. Whoops, didn't like those. Good thing I can lift off the color with a damp paintbrush. Second time's the charm. And voila! Twyla's got a brand new face! Spray the doll one final time with sealant, wait for that to dry. And then you can unwrap and remove the masks. What do you think? Her face is more saturated than the rest of the doll, so I'm not sure it completely matches. To be honest, I remember her outfit having more color. Ah oh well, let's call her finished. We did Rochelle, Kiyomi, and now Twyla. That just leaves Vandala doubloons. And I think I have Porter Geis in the stock box for some reason, so we might could repaint him in the future. Actually, no wait, I'm pretty sure I have Spectra from this line too. Well, <laughs> as I said at the top of the video, everything is all boxed up, so I guess I'll have to show you those dolls at a later time. We'll just Photoshop them in for now. Nailed it. Okay, thanks for joining me for this quick face-up video. I hope you had fun. I'll catch you next time. Stay artsy. Annyeong.